predicting a red tide bloom from start to finish. It's a project Dr. Cynthia Heil at Moat Marine Laboratory is working on. Currently, we're very good at predicting the movement of blooms based on the physics of the system. But how red tide ends is a question that remains unanswered. We're not there yet. But this is the sort of knowledge that we need to get there. That insight could come from a five-year study she's working on, funded by NOAA's Echo Hab. Dr. Heil is looking into the dynamics of red tide blooms, how they expand, and when and how they end. Lab work and records dating back to 1952 have given her insight. We see two patterns in blooms ending. One is just they decrease in place. And the other is they're slowly transported south and then west into the central gulf. Once they're able to come up with a system to predict how and when a red tide bloom will end, scientists believe it will help out in a number of ways. These blooms have huge environmental and economic impacts and having that sort of knowledge goes a long way toward um, mitigating both of these, whether it's uh, marine mortalities, the state can better prepare, all the local businesses will be better prepared. Getting there will take continued research. It's, it's a bit like predicting the weather or predicting a hurricane. We're very good at the short-term predictions right now. Uh, the goal is a longer-term prediction, and that's much, much more challenging. In Sarasota, Kimberly Quizon, Fox 13 News.